Hello friends, today we are going to install DIR615 as an access point. In the previous videos, we have seen DIR615 as a main router, as an extender, which is also called as a repeater. Now we are going to see how to configure this D-Link router DIR615 as an access point. In this scenario, I already have my main router, which is R12. D-Link R12 Eagle Pro router which is already configured and it is uh, uh, the internet is working through that router. So I want to connect DIR615 to that network. So we will be configuring this DIR615 as an access point. So let us start with the configuration. So first thing is as I said uh, uh, in the previous videos also you can connect this router uh, this laptop using a LAN cable to the 615 or you can connect with the Wi-Fi. If you are connecting with the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi name and password is written at the bottom side of the device. So you can just scan for the network and connect to it. Now once you connect it, you open up the browser and you enter this IP address 192.168.0.1. So once you open that, you will get a wizard. You just have to click on start. Click on uh, select the language as English and click on yes. Click on continue. Here you need to select the connection as wired. So in the extender mode, you need to select as Wi-Fi. In access point mode, you have to select as wired. And then the work mode, you have to select as access point. And then you can click on next. So once you click on next, now since by default, the dealing router's IP is 192.168.0.1. And the R12 router also is the same IP address. So we need to change the IP address of the DIR615 in the range of my main router. So I am changing this IP address is 0.50 and the default gateway will be the IP address of your my main router. Okay. So I need to click on next. If you want then I can you can change the SSID for the 615 password also for the 615. I am keeping the same one. I am just changing some few things here. So DIR615 new, I am keeping the password as same one. You can just copy the password and keep it aside. Alright, and then you can click on next. Once you click on next, you can set the admin password, whatever you want. Admin123, I am keeping as admin123. And then you can click on next. So again, if you just click on the save configuration file, one file will be downloaded. All the settings, whichever you have done, this will be displayed here. So this is admin. Alright, you can see the network name, you can see the password as well. And you can see the mode. You just have to click on apply. So once you click on apply, once you click on apply, you need to connect one cable from your main router LAN port to the DIR615 LAN port. So the connection has to be LAN to LAN. Okay. So you can connect one side to the LAN number 4 on R12 router and the other side to any one of the LAN port on the DIR615. So the connection has to be from LAN to LAN. So once you do that, just wait for some time, let the settings on the router be saved properly. And then you can check the IP address on your LAN. The gateway should be 0 0.1, which is my main router. So the gateway is 0 0.1 and this IP address is receiving by DHCP, which is my main router is giving the IP address. And through the DIR615, I am able to access the internet. Okay. So let's just wait, let the settings save properly. Again, wirelessly also, if you can just see, you'll be able to see the network name. This DIR615 new is my name. Just have to click on connect, enter the password.
changes. So you can see the status again. It says internet. So that means DIR615 is configured as an access point and you are able to access the internet through the 615. Okay. So if you just put if you just put the IP 192.168.0.50, I'm able to access the DIR615 page. Similarly, if I put 192.168.0.1, I should be able to access my main router, which is my primary router. All right. So this is the way you have to configure DIR615 as an access point. Okay. If you want to change the Wi-Fi name and all, you can log into this router and you can change it. So in the here, you can keep it as admin one two three that's a password which we have kept so it's device is uh, configured and it's ready to use so you just have to log into it and then change the wi-fi name wi-fi password whichever you want okay so this is how it will be you'll be able to see the screen so this is the dir615 configured as an access point and this is my client okay this is my laptop all right, so you can go to the settings, wireless network, and you can change the SSID and the password, whichever you want. Okay, so this is the configuration of DIR615 as an access point. All right, so once this is done, you should be able to access the internet to the router with the cable and with the Wi-Fi. Both you can see the status of it. The wireless status is connected. If you just see the ethernet, the ethernet is also connected. That means the router 615 is configured as repeater, uh, as an access point. I'm sorry, as an access point. Okay, um, that's it for this configuration, and uh, thank you.